Hey guys, in this video what we are going to do is learn how to control this RGB lights and have it have many colors to it. So how do we do that on this circuit based exercises? So the first thing that we'll need is three 220 resistors. All right. Knowing that the cathodes in this will you can put them in any uh, position as you would like. The cathode goes on this side of the breadboard and the anode goes on the, this, this side of the breadboard. So what you want to consider here doing is that you want to maintain one distance and have this wire which I'm using here and I'm connecting it to the ground base. So I know that this circuit when completed is grounded successfully. So I want to use my grounding circuits wire first and foremost before I do anything else. Then once done, what I'm going to do is use this pin. You're going to find an LED bulb which has four terminals, right? So one of them which has the longest side is the ground wire. And the way we do this is we use the ground wire for connecting <clears throat> it to the ground over here, which is the white over here. So exactly on the same side, I'm going to do exactly that. So I'm going to connect, make sure I'm connecting it nicely. So there you have it. Four terminals are now connected and I have placed that in here for a much better understanding. I have used uh, RGB um, wires, which is the blue, green and red over here, which you can see. Uh, now what's going to happen is every resistor, this anode on this side is going to be paired with, uh, you can choose your own color. I happen to go with red on this side. So the ending of here, which you can see here, I'm putting the red here, right? I'm going to do the same thing for red, blue, where the, where the next one is, the next anode. I'm just going to place it behind that. And as far as the green is concerned, okay, wait one second. I'm going to use the green one next. And the green one in the middle. Here. Yep. There you go. Now what you want to do is first you have you should have this connected to the ground on this side and it should say something like uh, like uh, you know GND which basically terminates to ground and then you're going to be using um, the blue one if you have connected exactly like I have then you should connect the uh, well you can connect it to any points but um, we'll be having a follow-up code in order to tell the circuit to do in controlling the LG, uh, RGB lights. So the way I've used in my code, which I'll be putting down in the description below, uh, I put the blue wire in terminal three, as you can see, uh, terminal three has been used for blue terminal five has been used for green and terminal six has been used for red. Upon doing so, the only thing that this circuit lacks is power source. So the way we're going to use the power source to the circuit is by connecting the USB. Once the USB is connected, what we're going to do is load the program. Now to do load the program, I have already loaded the program in this. You can see the lights over here are changing every milliseconds right so you would have your arduino Uno app like here and you're going to use this app to write the same code which i have put in the description box below and uh, if you have completed the circuit appropriately then you should be having the same results thank you for watching have a good day if you do like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thanks